Very nice. Hi, I'm looking for Robert. Mr. Kingsford. Hi, I'm looking for Mr. Kingsford. Dr. David Scobie, USA Church. You just missed him. He went that way. That way? Yeah, that way. Well, we had just come from that direction. Oh, I'm just telling you what I know. He went that way. Well, I'll go this way then, shall I? If you run, you might catch him. Mike, it's Richie. Indian or Italian? Um, I'll have whatever he's having. Then I'll have whatever you're having. Okay, mate. Bye. Oh, you well, help yourself, why don't you? You still at work? Your mother then. What's the matter? Somebody sign your car again? I caught your brother having a go at me tired. Don't believe anything he says, Charles. That's on anything. Do you know he carries a knife? Scotty, have you got a knife on you? No. No, see? Wrong again. I'll piss off. Got your best back yet? I'm adoring. You're doing really well, Mr. Bennett. Yeah, I come on. It was a bloody awful. Although we've used the local anaesthetic now, you can still go to sting a bit. Hold on to the vibe setting. It's good for you. You're doing okay, Mary. I've got a bit of a headache. Now you're entitled. Of course, a bit of a bump. Right, nearly done. Cleaning you up. Am I going to be okay, do you think? Without a doubt. The x rays are up. How are they? No surprises. Just a rash of broken ribs. There. You're done. You're going to be fine. Now all we've got to do is fill in a few forms. With your full name, for instance. Mary Elizabeth Holt. And how do you spell that, Mary? H O L. And when were you born? I can't remember. I don't know. I'm 22. It's all right, don't mind. You can walk back with I'm throwing about a bit, that's all. We'll talk a bit later, all right? All right. I don't like the look of that bump. Did you put her on your own? Half hour? Yeah. Now keep an eye on the drain. Okay. And let me know when the boyfriend arrives, will you? Yeah, sure. Where are we going? In a bit. No, that, you know, I feel all right. Come I'm on. I... Is this really necessary? We wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't. I don't want to go to hospital. Oh. Shouldn't have crashed your car then. I want to talk to someone. My wife. Oh, don't fine. worry. She's going to be fine. What do you think? They're all right. 
Dr. Gregson, Splice. Stopping it. I'm starving. Harry, can I have some help, please? I think it's a respiratory arrest. Well, Christine? I'm going to intubate him. Just call out to see me doing something stupid. That's up. I don't think intensive care will be best for you. you. Not my problem. He's breathing, that's all that matters. Who are you looking for? The consultant. Robert? Yeah. Have you tried his office down the corridor? Twice. Oh, well, sorry, then I can't help you. Oh, if you see Mark Gregson, can you say that his piece is getting cold? Did you show this to Christine? I had a chance. Do you know why you did what you did? Because he couldn't breathe. He was having a respiratory arrest and without intubating him, he might have died. When he comes off the vent, what happens then? We can't give him a new set of lungs, can we? Are you saying I shouldn't have done anything? Well, is he weaker or stronger than before the arrest? He's weaker. Any likelihood of improvement? No. So, are we treating an illness or prolonging an agony? I'm not saying you were wrong, Lou. I'm just saying be aware of the bigger picture. Hey, you did well. Ah, oh, Mr. Kingsford. Yeah? David Scobie, you're going to show me around. Yes, it's all about Sorry, um, yes, yeah, gonna have to wait. Feel free to wander around. You just don't get in the way. Kathy, perhaps you could show David around Risa. Kathy knows as much as I do. I'll be with you in five, isn't it? Uh, no. Accidental, I think. Better check. Where are we? Camera two. two. You don't need me, do you? It wasn't my fault. No one's blaming you, man. You ran into me. He ran into me. Everyone realizes it was an accident. It was an accident, pal. There's no harm done, okay? Hopefully. You okay, Doctor? Fine, I'll be fine. You're going to need a stitch in that. Do you know where you're going? Oh, man. Get off me! 
I'll be with you in a minute. And there's a problem. Uh-huh. Kenny. You're Kenny. It's okay. He's okay. He's not badly injured. Kenny? What's happened? An accident. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy. You gave me a fright. Don't do it again. I'll try not to. The girl Murray, how is she? Rough. But she'll be okay. Are you treating her? Yeah. Good. Safe hands. How's the car? Ben. Is it a write-off? Probably. I liked that car. I know. Nothing going on, Chris. I certainly hope not. There isn't. We're on the same class at the uni, that's all. We're supposed to be at home. Change of plan. A few of us got together for a drink and a cab. Discussion? Students discuss. Housewives gab. Okay. Well, at the end of our discussion, she was going my way, so I gave her a lift. That's all there is to it. Can I see him? Not just yet. Are we big news on the hospital grapevine? Top story, probably. Sorry. Forgive me. You don't need to tell me where she lives. I don't know where she lives. There's a lift, not left home. Can't she tell you? Not at the moment, no. Why not? Knock on the head, just a bit shaken up. I can't help you with this address, Chris. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. St. Victor of A&E, Dr. Gregson, go ahead. Mike! Stuart Phelan, I'm in paramedic 7, ECA 10 minutes. We have one young male, knife wound, femoral artery. You're going to be all right. This is down to you. Terry, where are you? Here. Yeah. Can you call up six units of Omeg and tell the team to cover up? We've got a femoral artery coming in. Where's your leader? He's here. Where's your husband? Sorry? Behind you. Christy. You've got a messy one coming in. Terry's onto the O-neck. Six of you. Okay. Want to lend a hand? Not really. I washed my hair this morning. Michael, I know you raise other food and family, but can you have a look at the ones we fit? Please, when I can get something to eat myself. Okay. Yeah. 
You're gonna put me to sleep. No, I'm not. Oh! Come on! Fucking! Isn't it about time you started behaving yourself? No. I'm hungry. How's Mary? No change. Good. Was Kenny able to help? No. Do we have a purse in the press? Yeah, we got a jacket. And he in it? Yeah, there was a earmark with phone number on. No answer. You want me to try again? No. Nope. I do it. You see the look on her face? I'm telling you, it's her number. <laughs> sure. Managing medicine, you see? It was a mix. It's one of the reasons I'm still on the shelf. Must be a pretty big shelf. Hey, I'm big boned. <laughs> Could you be one? What? A doctor. Nah. Why not? Too much like hard work. Not so much the work, you know. It's all about being nice to people. I couldn't do it. Incoming. Get you something to eat. Will you behave yourself then? I might. No, no, no. I need a promise. You're losing me! You want me to get off? Yeah! You promise to behave? Can I have something to eat? Maybe. I need a promise. Okay. I promise. Good. Dear, oh dear. This is Gary, 16 years old. Stab with him the right family. Sacky Cardix, Capelli refill sluggish. He's onto his second bag of e Oh, Pretty good. Oh. Excellent. Very good. How tall are you? Well, I'm bigger than you, aren't I? And uh, we can remove the handcuffs now, please? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. We're cool, aren't we, Martin? Yeah, we're cool. You're bigger than me. Well, I work out, don't I? You should be ashamed of yourself. And, uh, you can make your way back to the station now if you want to. Yeah. Piss off. We'll be fine. Do you want to sit down? No. Do you want to lie down? I'm hungry. Okay, well, I'll go and get you something to eat. I'll be about 15 minutes. Is that okay? Yeah. Take your time. And when I come back, I want you to talk to me and another doctor, okay? Yeah. Good. Don't forget. I won't forget. What are doing is immediately replacing the blood gas loss. Once you know, Terry, it's 10 units, five type specific and five full cross match. And make him strong for when he gets to theatre. I'll take him to theatre. This is a surgeon. Okay, how much blood do we have? Six zero nine. And six more on the way. Okay, now put it hanging around. Theatre one's free. You ready? No. Okay, let's go. Happy now. This one, then. Richard. I thought you were going vegetarian. I'm a vegetarian. No, you're not. It's pepperoni. Well, you were not proper meat. Like what? Like steaks. I told you it would be hot. Thank you. Richard's got something to say to you, Dad. What's wrong about? You don't say what he said to me about me, Dad. I'm not saying it. Oi, oi. Come on, come on. Sit it out. I think you need to get out more, Dad. Oh, really? Yeah. All you do is lie around the house watching television. Miss have more sex, Dad. Before you get too old. <laughs> Tell you what I'll think about it. You're no good thinking about it. <laughs> Mind you both don't choke. <laughs> and you 
Can mind your own business too. Have the boys seen the yard here yet? Not yet, no. I should give them another push. Is there anything I can do? She's a second year physio student, apparently. You could call the uni. What happened to play? You're right. Do you want me to try that number again? No. Robert practically told me I was wrong to intubate Arthur Bennett. Didn't he say why? Thought we should be doing everything we can. We should be doing what's best for Arthur Bennett, not what makes us feel good. Look, if you're unhappy with what he said, why don't you ask him to go over it again? He doesn't bite. More so pity. John Hollingsworth? No. He's on. I don't want to complain. But you don't. Well, surely I could have been seen immediately. But why surely? Professional courtesy. I'm a doctor. I'm going to be working here. At the moment, you're a patient. I'm being wound up, aren't I? Probably. So are you a real doctor? Or you just think you're a doctor? I think I'm a real doctor. Jimmy Gupta? When someone dies, you know enough to say he's dead. You don't say he's slipped away or passed on. You say he's dead, right? Right. And you have to be as sure, as certain, as positive with your words when a patient is going to die. If the relatives will be looking for the least little thing to hang on to, and you can't give it to them, it would be wrong. I understand. And you understand that Arthur Bennett is going to die? Yes. He's got end-stage respiratory failure, and he will die. So why should he die in distress with a stranger climbing all over his chest? Why can't he die in peace with his relatives around him? You've gone quiet. Look, he's your patient, man. If you disagree, that's fine, but say so. I don't want us falling out in front of strangers. No, of course not. I agree with you. Sure. Absolutely. 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 It's a bit they don't teach. Pizza. Just a friend. Like a girlfriend? No. Believe me, guys. Hey, listen, thanks for coming in, yeah? Dad, you know who you need us, Mr. Carl? Thank you, I will, Missy. What have we got to be? Careful. When have we got to be yet? Now. Good, give us a hug. Come on. I'll speak to you later, yeah? Hello, See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Pepperoni pizza. Hope you're not a real vegetarian, because that's all I've got. 
still hot. I wouldn't give you cold food, Martin. Well, I don't like cold food. That's why I wouldn't give it to you. I like you, too. Just brought some in for a bit of a, a bit of a clean up. All right. Did you get to theatre okay, then? Yeah, everyone seems happy enough. Cheers, Terry. You were uh, not a fan of our Dr. Phelan, then? No. No. What space in the showers are over there? Oh, and in case you didn't know, he saved your brother's life. Give a towel, shall I? I am. I feel responsible. Could you read this for me, please? you can what did you do Talk. what did you do nothing you just decided to be a left i was giving her a lift that's all i was giving her tied your phone number yeah we are in the same class think about this she give you her phone number? No. Oh. I asked because it would be nice to contact her relatives. Or did she? No, she didn't. Why not? What do you mean, why not? You gave her yours. Yeah. Okay, I don't know why not. Why don't you ask her? Whereabouts did you crash? No town lane. Not far from our house. Is that where you were going? No. Do you think what you want to me? I hope you don't have to Judy just felt my ass. Mm, you enjoy it. That's not the point. Excuse me. I'm looking for Gary Manley. I'm his father. He was brought in by ambulance. Uh, Carl, how is he? I don't know. Don't show him anything. Look, if you'd like to wait in one of the relatives' rooms, I'll find someone to come and speak to you. Can't you let me know how he is now? No, but I'll find someone who can. Sorry, Stuart. How's the femoral artery? Getting there, you know. You did well there. Thanks. You know him? He's a neighbour. A neighbourly neighbour? Not really. The father's arrived, none too pleased. Cathy says he was talking about involving the police. No, skin off my nose. Someone's got to put him straight. Well, I think it'd be best all round if that was you. Yep. No, I need two minutes. They won't listen. How do you know? Because they haven't done so far. Can I smoke? No. What do you mean, so far? We don't get on. In what way? In a serbo croat kind of way. They don't like me, and I'm beginning to hate the sight and sound of them. Why? A clash of personalities. You've only just moved in. Six weeks ago, yeah. And for the past month, you've been turning up to your shift late at least twice a week. Are they the reason for you being late? Partly. Mostly. Then sort it. This is an opportunity. I don't want the police here, Stuart. You 
this is affecting your work. I need to know. But it's not affecting my work. Yes, it is, because you're not here to do it when you should be. Gary, a kid we brought in earlier. One day, I asked him not to sit on my car. He swore I swore grew from there, mostly kid stuff. Like what? Some and base turned up to ten, a condom on the exhaust pipe, sugar in my fuel tank, shit on me doormat, flat tires, and next morning, flat mutilated tires. Spoken to his parents? He's a baby, isn't he? <laughs> and he's a bastard. Then move. I don't want to move. I was born three streets away. I'm not moving for them. Well, I suppose I better see them alone. I'll see how they're doing in the theatre. He's my patient. Kind of. Oh. I want to see him. Okay. Thanks. Why'd you become a doctor, Stuart? Because I could. <laughs> well, no shit. Felt I couldn't aim any higher. Still feel like that? Most of the time, yeah. You shouldn't be eating those. Why not? You've got to get yourself in shape. What for? No. No, I don't know. No, it has been a long time. <laughs> You've been talking about me, haven't you? You and Judy? Down the rest. Hello, I'm Robert Kingsford, A.M.E. consultant. I believe you already know Dr. Freeman. How is he? How's Gary? Dr. Freeman has the details. Um, Gary's still in theatre, then, but uh, all being well, you should be able to see him in an hour or so. What happened? Uh, I'm told you were there. He jumped from the roof of a car, and as he bent double to break his fall, I guess the knife he was carrying in his belt was pushed into his leg. I heard you ran at him. Yes, I did. I heard you jumped on top of him. No. Gary was already bleeding when I reached him. I also heard that five minutes before he was stabbed, you were chasing him down the street. Eh? That's right. Sat on top of your car again, was he? Dad. You're a grown man. He's a 16-year-old kid, for Christ's sake. Dad. And you're chasing him down the street because he sits on your poxy car. Dad. That's enough. Can you leave us alone now, please? Yes. We'll let you know when you can see Gary. Ah, you do that. David Scobie. Show us over, sister. This way, Dr. Scobie. I enjoyed spending the rest of quality time with the great unwashed. <laughs> oh, classic action, sister. I thought, Doctor, anything that smells in the least like sexual harassment, and I'll kick your head in. Christine! Mary's having a fit. The last stop was 15 minutes ago, and she was fine. Are they No sign of any obstruction. Stay out the most terrible before we intubate her. Shit, the brain's come out. Hold your steady juice. She's not a patch on my Maureen. <coughs> Are you laughing at? Yes, sir. I've seen your Maureen. Left parietal fracture. Quite a big midline shift. Well, fairly classic extra dural. Nice size clock. Have you seen the neuro? He's arranging theatre. I've sent a copy of the scans over to him. How's Kenny? How about you? Coping? I'm sure. Yeah. I have to ask. I know. And I'm around. Leo Christine. 
Psychiatrist. Do you have a 136 for me to review? Yes. Yes, we do. I'll introduce you to Martin. Is he violent? No, he's reasonable enough for a 136. Lucky now he's eaten. Michael. That's a woman. Good luck. How's it going? Slowly. Painfully. Dr. Bacher first takes it on. Maybe you should cut a bit more hair away. Or well, maybe she shouldn't. Ow! Sorry, Doctor, but if you could hold still. So, I'm looking forward to coming to work with us. I don't follow her. If the machine's helping him, isn't that a good thing? Not really. Why? He might recover, given time. The ventilator's only doing the job that your father's unable to do alone. He's been short of breath for years. Exactly. So what makes today any different to yesterday or last week or last year? Because he's weaker than he was yesterday. Much weaker than he was last year. Your father has a pair of lungs that are no longer able to do the job they're supposed to do. It's still all there. He's very poorly. The ventilator can't cure him. All it's doing is prolonging the effect of his illness. We'd like to extubate him. That is to take him off the ventilator and make him comfortable. Let him die. Shine in the old fella. You're a doctor? Yeah. For me soon. Gary's just gone off to the ward. Wanna go see him? Later. See you all right. Yeah. Come again, so do we. Thinking. I get a free weekend here. Eh? I don't have another weekend in this place. I thought you wanted to redecorate. I'm not the ideal. Where would you like to go? Yeah, anything. To my house. Okay. You finished the tea? He's gone.
bad news. Mary bump on the head needs surgery. Oh. Yeah. I need to speak to her parents or her family. He has. She has no ID. She has no one to rely on but you. You must have a copy of it. Please? Yeah. Okay. The service line. The number is 8732332. What am I saying? You're going to be all right? We need to talk, Chris. Hmm. Nothing happened. Only because you drove into a barrier. Maybe. Now you're telling the truth. I love you, Christian. Sometimes that isn't easy. I was wondering when it was going to be my fault. I'm not saying it's your fault. Well, now's not the time to question. You need to sort this out. The neurosurgeon. I'll have to go with her to see her first. We'll talk, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We're lucky for you to say thanks. Thanks, Doc. No problem. Can I go in here? Yeah. 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 Always and everyone.